Hello and welcome. I'm Rob and this is a new episode from HDDR Entertainment. Last episode I explained how to easily convert your GK5C or any M4 to a semi-only rifle for certain events or countries that require such modification. This episode shows how this can be done with an AK. Something that is even more simple and thus I can show you this pretty fast. But first let's see what happens inside an AK when you use your selector lever. On the gearbox side of this lever, the only thing that happens is the safety being removed when the lever is changed between safe, fully automatic and semi-automatic. On the other side, however, we can see that the selector plate switching between full auto and semi-auto. Now comes the easy part of converting your AK. The selector plates actively put your rifle in full auto mode, even when it's on safe. Therefore, semi-auto is only available when the selector plate is fully backwards and does not touch this specific lever anymore. This all means that your AK can be converted to semi-auto just by removing the two gear reels which connect both sides of the gearbox or by simply removing the selector plate. I suggest the latter since this will keep your strength in your selector lever. After doing this, the rifle will only fire in a semi-automatic manner, so let's test this. As can be noticed, the safe is doing its job, and when switching to fully automatic, which is the first position of the selector switch on an AK, the rifle only fires in semi-automatic. Then, as required, semi is still semi auto Now in case you have your gearbox locking up, and you want to remove the lockup, it is possible to push the lever that prevents full auto fire out of its way from underneath the replica even when it's assembled. This enables you to fire fully automatic for a short while to remove that lockup. And with this, this episode once again comes to an end. I thank you all for watching, I'm Rob and this was HDGR Entertainment.